from over the pond. Over the pond. And I actually, got it right this time. You got it right. <laughs> over the bridge, she said earlier. <laughs> it would be a big bridge. bridge. Now, I must tell you, <laughs> these are, when it comes to purple and from over the pond, we make these in the UK, you know. Okay. Yep, so we and have a manufacturing them. facility in the UK where we Perfect. do all of our plastic molding like this. These are, I know they look like just two purple boards to you. Actually, if you are a card maker, it's revolutionary. This will literally change the way you do all of your cards. You know how you see me and I'm always doing all these exciting shapes and it's an easel card and a fold back and a this and a that and the other. That all needs a lot of scoring and measuring, right? Sure. And every tutorial I do, and those of you who follow me on Facebook and YouTube, you will see all my tutorials it's always about measure three and three quarter inches and put a score line then measure eight and a half inches and put a score line so do you know what i did i did a scoring ruler it's called the boxer board right cool. so this is it here so when you come to do any of your scoring what you're going to do is you're just going to take a piece of cardstock rest it up against the edge and if sarah says score at three and a half inches you come along to three and a half and basically that line down there will put a, a, a score line at three and a half inches and it's going to be perfectly and straight sorry, it's and it's going to be, be perfect oh. every time now the problem is sarah's from europe and not everybody in the uk and europe work in inches we work in metric right. so do you know what i did i put metric on the back ah. so that we've got if, if you are reading a tutorial from one of our german designers and she says yes. score at 13 centimeters and you think my life what's 13 centimeters you just come along to 13 centimeters and put the score line That's so i know perfect. a lot of you will hardly ever use this side but basically you've got the double-sided board which i like to think of it as just being a ruler for scoring right so that is essential so if you see a lot of the projects we've got here it's all be about being able to create beautiful shaped boxes oh. and cards and all these unique shaped pieces. Gorgeous right? boxes. So you're going to be able to create the boxes. All you get these. to be able to do all of the score lines. It's $25.45 for this big customer pick. In fact, $12.73 interest free on any major credit card. And item number 617544. This is the lowest price we've ever done and we only have a limited amount. Well, the great thing is that I only just told you about the boxer. It's worth paying the $25 just to get the boxer, right? Yes. However, the next most essential tool you need in our collection is the Envella Box Creator. Now, every card you make must have an envelope. Every card needs an envelope. What about if we do an envelope, but you can do it from a little tiny mini one right up to a giant one, and you can either do them flat, or you can do them with a little gusset, or you can do them with a big gusset, or you can do them with an even bigger gusset. So what about if I said to you, you can do over a thousand sizes of envelopes? And I'm going to show you that a thousand sizes of envelopes with the envelope box creator. I love that because right? what else? How else would you send all of those big oh, easel cards and, and you all see of the all cards, of cards that you've done? Loads of embellishments on the front, so you can go up to an inch in depth. Yes. And you can go right up to like, like US letter size. Fabulous big sizes. That's now, exciting. No point me giving you two of the most awesome tools in the whole world if you don't know what to do with them. So I'm coming home with you for three hours. And I'm okay. going to teach you 12 <laughs> projects. I'm going to teach you all of these fantastic boxes that you're seeing. All of the stuff that's on the table is all covered in the DVD. Plus, I'm going to show you how to make those envelopes as well. Sarah, I would pay $25 for that, that DVD. Three hours. Easily. Three hours. And do you know right, what? Maybe more. I don't talk anywhere near as fast when I'm on the DVD. Uh, that's so, not even somebody $10 in my ear. So you've got three minutes left, Sarah. Show us an envelope. Should we do an envelope? Let's to show do. You? Right, right. Here's the thing. Now, I don't want you to be overwhelmed because when I said there's a thousand envelopes my dad actually sat and handmade each there's not a calculation you can work out he had to make them all and then give you the size oh so he made all thousand of the envelopes in the set my dad said? yeah my dad my Your dad's the engineer my dad's that. the engineer oh. so can you see he's given you every single envelope size now let's just take it easy right let's go on this page here this is if you want to make boxes let's have a look boxes which are an inch deep so everything mm -hmm. on this page is all about making an envelope that is an inch deep. On this page here, it's about making ones that are three quarters of an inch. On this page, flat ones. This one, half an inch. So, can you, so go to the right page for how thick you want it. Okay. So I'm going to go to the inch. Then let's say we want to make a five by seven envelope, right? We come along the line till we get to five. And we go along here until we get to seven. Right? So you come along the seven line, you come down the five line, and can you see there's that one box there, mm -hmm. and it says 10 and three quarters, G and K. 
Yeah, so, so for a five by seven, you need 10 and three quarters G and K. Now, what on earth does that mean? I've got a piece of cardstock, 10 and three quarters, right? And I have just put my tool. Can you see what we do here? I think we, if we get onto the overhead, I'll work back to front upside down for you. I'm going to go right into the corner here and I'm going to come down to G. So can you see these are, these are lettered all the way down? I'm getting to G and I'm going to put my score line and I, it tells me I'm going to use position one and four. So I'm doing position one and then right into here in position four and I go with G again, right? And it comes with that scoring tool. It comes uh, It comes with one of our other scoring with tools. A, yeah. Okay, with a yeah. scoring tool. Uh, I, I dropped mine on the floor, so we've got this one. <laughs> and it comes with a, a, this is the one that comes with our guillotine. Okay. So G and then the other line is K. Now, can you see K crosses the G lines? This is, and, and I know it looks, um, you're looking and you're thinking, wow, that's a lot of lines, that's a lot of sizes. Bear in mind, when you go home, I'm not even saying that you have to go and find a YouTube tutorial. I'm saying, I'm sending you a DVD home with this so that you can watch the DVD, learn exactly how to make it. Now, then in the corners, all we do is we cut out these little corners like this, just as though we were making a box, but actually what we're doing is we're making a 3D Envella box. And people are always saying to me, Sarah, you make the most wonderful cards, but how on earth do you you get the envelopes to match. And I, you know, I, I'm, I like to think that I'm quite a creative person and nothing would frustrate me more than being restricted to only be, being able to make cards for which I could buy the matching envelopes to put them in. <laughs> Whereas for me, if I can now make a card any size I want, right up to eight by eight inches. And I know that I can then take, uh, do the matching envelope to go with it. Can you see all we're doing is putting these in the corner. Uh, I do just need to cut these tiny little bits out of the corner. Is this your pearl cardstock, yeah, by the way? this is it, this is okay, it. This is, you we, know we, we may have famous a few, for this. We may have a few sets left, I'm not sure. Um, but you're definitely gonna wanna check that out. Can you see? All I'm doing is sticking this together in the corners like this. And then if I just put again a little bit of tape on the bottom part here. Now bear in mind, I've had to do this in like a couple of minutes. When you watch me on that DVD, I'm gonna walk you through this and it, it, if it takes us 10 minutes to do an envelope, we're in no rush. So I can take 10 minutes to do that envelope. Um, oh, we can but see you know that here. I'm gonna hold your hand and walk you through it. So if I cut these pieces off the top, look how easily I've made a perfect, beautiful inch deep oh my five gosh, by cool. seven. Is that all that's left? <gasps> Only, yep. And I will warn About you, right? About fewer than 700. It is, it is worth it. I would pay the $25 just to be able to make a thousand envelopes, just That's for the freedom so cool. for someone to say any card that you make, Sarah, you can now make, no matter how deep it is, up to an inch, you can make the exact size envelope, right. all of the instructions in here. And you have not just envelopes, you also have all of these boxes all of the cards and, and boxes designs because you've and got everything. That scoring ruler. Oh. This is what literally tens of thousands of crafters all over the world Incredible. use this every day. And every tutorial you read, people say, score it. at this guy, score at that. You you will love it. All right, Sarah, you are going to have to stick around because you and I are live, Facebook Live. I'm going to go to those Facebook o questions now, though. Anyone oh, who perfect. asks anything on Facebook, I'll go on. Thank you so much. We appreciate that. All right, we are celebrating crafting, but of course, it's also spring fashion, so we're celebrating all of 